September 11th, day 11 of the Cancer Walk. One thing about cancer, like I've said before, it comes into different forms. Today's kind of cancer comes in the form of terrorism. So, I don't have one particular name that I'm gonna to mention today, but instead, thousands of names that were lost in the Twin Tower attacks of 9-11 in New York. So, today's names are in honor of all those lost due to the cancer of terrorism. I was out in New York when that happened. I had a load that was supposed to be delivered for the Gap, the clothing store. Anyway, I'm supposed to go into Brooklyn and I'm coming across the interstate and uh, we're listening to Howard Stern. And that day he's doing an interview, in fact he's doing several interviews on the phone through Sirius XM. Anyway, I stop along the side of the road for a minute because we're switching drivers. Anyway, so um, Howard's talking to somebody and his, he's talking to some gal. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny, Howard Stern, if you, anybody knows about him, he's uh, kind of an, an extreme radio talk show host. But he has some good stuff to say. Anyway, so I'm listening to Howard. And he's trying to get this girl to take her shirt off. Um, uh, you know, she's a call-in. Anyway, and then he gets interrupted by his producer. She says, look at the screen. So he looked at the screen. And he goes, oh my gosh, we're getting bombed. And I'm like, I wonder what the heck is going on. Anyway, he said, looks like one of the World Trade Centers has caught fire. Looks like a bomb went off. Anyway, by this time, I'm going through New Jersey. And I'm uh, getting ready to cross one of the toll bridges. Buster, come. Buster, let's go. This way. Anyway, so I'm getting ready to cross one of the toll bridges. One of the things about crossing this one particular bridge is after you go into New York shortly afterwards you see the Statue of Liberty. I always look forward to seeing that and you also see the Twin Towers. Just iconic um, 
buildings and history to be able to see when you cross into New York. So I was looking forward to that. But, but this time, as I'm sitting at the gate at the toll bridge waiting to go through, pay my toll and go through, all of a sudden all the lights turn red. Buster needs to take a breather. Anyway, all the lights turn red. Come on, Buster. We gotta go. Come on, we're almost there. Come here. Okay. Anyway, all the lights turn red across the uh, toll booth. And um, I'm like, wow, I wonder what's going on there. And Howard Stern, he's telling everybody, call in, call in. I want to hear what's going on. What do you see? I'm like, um, yeah, I'm going to go to a news channel to find out what's going on. So I did. At the same time, I'm watching people get out of their cars. Buster, come here, heel. Let's go. I'm watching people get out of their cars. And as the people were getting out of their cars, some of them were crying. Some are falling to the ground. They're praying. They're on their cell phones. And uh, it, it was just chaos. So I switch over to the news station to find out what's going on. And they're interviewing some guy in another building. And he says, I don't know what happened. The building just exploded. And so they're trying to find out, you know, what are his feelings and what did he see and what are the people like around him. And uh, Buster, come on. And about that time, he yells out, oh my God, here comes another one. And the second plane hits the other building. Well, then they knew it was terrorism. And so I'm sitting there at the toll booth waiting to go into New York. And I'm like, we need to get out of here. So well, there was like a side exit road. So I took it and um, was able to get back to New Jersey. Got into Edison, New Jersey, where I was able to drop my trailer. So I get into Edison, I drop the trailer, and I bobtail over to Gloria Vanderbilt, because that's where I'm going to pick up my next load. And I'm standing outside of my truck and I'm looking out in the horizon to the east and you can see smoke just filtering down across the skyline and I'm listening to the radio and the news and all the everything going on there the chaos the confusion anyway all of a sudden the smoke gets a lot thicker and it kind of changes color like like a real thick gray so I thought okay it's changing color because they're putting water on the fire and they're putting the fires out no that wasn't what it was that gray thick smoke was the buildings collapsing they were collapsing in on themselves taking all the lives with them that were inside and some on the outside firefighters rescue employees business owners people from around the world thousands of people thousands of lives taken I was sick to my stomach as I heard what had happened and as I'm standing outside nobody else around pure silence except for the crackling of my radio and the news I hear a rustling in the trees and the bushes beside me and I look 
and it's this beautiful deer, a little doe, all by herself, her tail snapping in the wind, her little nose twitching back and forth. She looks at me. I look at her. She puts her nose to the ground and nibbles on the green grass below her, flicks her tail a couple of times again, turns around and goes off in the bushes, never to be seen again. I cried. That moment was when I realized she didn't know the innocence of what was going on, the terrorism that was going on. Come this way. This way, Buster. Come on. She didn't know. She was absolutely innocent of everything that was going on. So today's walk, September 11th, 2024. Daily walk with your dog for cancer. A mile a day. I'm walking today for all those names of those people lost in the Twin Towers. The people lost on the plane that hit the Pentagon. The people that were lost in the plane that went down in Somerset, Pennsylvania. All those names, all those innocent people taken from the cancer of terrorism. So, that's my, that's my name for today. I'm almost dragging Buster now. We're almost back to the truck, bud. Come on. We can do it. We got a lot of people to walk for today. A lot of people to walk for today, buddy. Yep. Buster sees some other dogs over there. Hey, leave it. Come on. Leave it. Let's turn. Let's turn away from the problem. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, heel, heel. No, no, heel. Leave it. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Good boy. Good boy, look at me, look at me. <gasps> look, there's daddy. Let's go get daddy. All right, load up. Oh. 